Most of our skeletal muscles are under our voluntary control. Even the muscles we use for breathing, such as the diaphragm and the intercostal muscles that lift our rib cage during deep breathing, can be consciously controlled when we choose to do so. Smooth muscle tissue is different. It is usually controlled by the autonomic nervous system and we are not aware of it. Smooth muscle exists in the walls of many of our internal organs, including most of the digestive system, the airways of the respiratory system, and our blood vessels. It can either contract or relax to control the width of these passages. For example, the smooth muscle tissue surrounding your blood vessels can contract to constrict the blood vessels and make it harder for blood to flow to certain areas. This can control blood pressure and divert blood to where it is most needed, such as sending blood to the surface of the body to radiate heat outside the body. Smooth muscle cells look different and act differently from skeletal muscle tissue. They are shorter than skeletal muscle cells, and each smooth muscle cell has only one nucleus, like most of the other cells in our body. In general, they contract more gradually and can remain contracted for a long time. Smooth muscle cells often operate in groups. When one is stimulated to contract, usually all the surrounding cells will contract as well. In our esophagus and intestines, some smooth muscle cells are arranged lengthwise and some wrap around. By alternately contracting these two kinds of smooth muscles, a moving wave of contraction called peristalsis is created that pushes material along. Smooth muscles in the ureters and bladder keep urine flowing away from the kidneys and then out of the body. At the bottom of the bladder, a ring of smooth muscle called a sphincter holds urine in the bladder. A similar sphincter of skeletal muscle nearby that is under your conscious control enables us to urinate. In the female reproductive system, smooth muscles in the fallopian tubes transport an egg to the uterus. There are even tiny bundles of smooth muscle cells at the base of each hair in your skin. Under emotional stress or sudden sensations of cold, these muscles contract involuntarily and pull the hairs straight up to cause what we call goosebumps.